Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a photo shoot with Pack Rat Detectives. My character's name is Deb, and I'm gonna be doing hair for this character right now. Before I blow dry my hair, I always use a heat protectant. It is so important to protect your hair when you're going to be blow drying it and putting hot tools through it. And sometimes I let my hair air dry and I don't put anything in, I give it a break, but on days that I'm gonna be styling it, you have to use a heat protectant. So the heat protectant of my choice is the heat protectant spray by Monate. I love it, it smells really good, it's easy to spray in. I'm gonna brush it to make it evenly distributed through my hair, and then I'm gonna give it a blow dry. oil treatment in my hair last night. I do it once a week because it really helps your scalp. I have dry scalp and also too, healthy hair comes from like a healthy scalp. If you have a healthy scalp, your hair is, is becomes healthier. So anyway, so this is the oil that I use. This is a rejuvenique oil by Monet and this has 101 uses. This oil is infused into all the shampoos and conditioners and the product lineup, but this is the product on its own and I like to use it as a overnight oil treatment. So I put it along my hair. I actually have videos that I did before showing the oil treatment, but uh, that's what I did last night. And my hair feels so clean and it feels so fluffy and soft. I do have naturally wavy kind of fuzzy hair, but even, even with the texture, uh, it's still blow dry. Pretty nice, like pretty smooth considering I have wavy hair. It blow dried really, look at it, like that's, normally my hair is a frizzy mess when I blow dry it. And to have it like this without putting anything through my hair, that's pretty amazing. And I really find that that <laughs> is from the oil treatment overnight. It really gets into the hair, makes it really healthy and shiny, it gets into your scalp and really creates a really nice environment to have healthy hair growth. So I just wanted to give a shout out to my little buddy, Rejuvenate Goyo, if you want some, it's amazing. Next, what I'm gonna do, I always finish off with this guy because I suck at coordination when it comes to doing a blowout. So I use this little hack, this guy. There's all kinds of different brands that sell this. This is actually a Monet one, but you can get Revlon Pro. Uh, there's all kinds of different kinds, like Conair probably has one, I don't know. So I like to finish my hair off because my hair is still slightly damp. It's probably about 99% dry. And I'm gonna finish with this because I'm gonna get a little bit of extra volume with it and uh, just to give it a little bit more oomph and just kind of give it that smooth blowout look. This is like one of my all time favorite OG, OG products. This is the Root Lifter Root Spray. Normally you put it on with damp hair, but I'm just gonna go around and spray my crown right now. I have fine hair, so my hair lays a little flat and Deb has a little bit of bigger hair as a character. She likes a little bit more volume. So I'm gonna spray it just at the root areas where I want some volume, and you're gonna see extreme volume happen really quickly. A trick to get more height in your hair when you blow dry, especially with like a round brush, but if you have a tool like this, is to go against your hair uh, growth. So like pull it back, instead of trying to go down, like a lot of people will go down, but if you first pull it back opposite, and then pull it down, that's gonna give you way more. So I'll show you. So, lots of volume. So there you go, there's the Reshape Root Lifter. It's one of my OG, <laughs> original go-tos. This has been in our lineup for quite a long time and I use it faithfully when I want to get big hair and lots of volume. It's my favorite. My hair does not feel sticky in any way. It has lots of volume and it's so super soft. So now I'm going to plug in my curly iron. Deb likes to wear her hair curly. Deb always has curly hair so we're gonna put that 
curls in. So I'm just using this I-S-I-N-I-S, -I -I Isinus. I don't know how to say it. One and a half inch barrel maybe. I'm gonna get a clip just to section it off uh, because I wanna have a lot of curls, a lot of volume. Like if I were doing my normal hair, I would just put it in a pony, curl some ends. I've done lots of little hair hacks on how to curl it. I would literally not take as much time. But when I'm doing this for my character, I'm gonna take more care because I know she likes fuller hair and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is, is this is a Flexi Hold hairspray. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of spray at the roots a little bit before I curl it. I usually do that before I put my extensions in. I'm just kind of putting it in there um, and then I'm gonna curl. I'm doing the bottom layer first. I wanted to put the spray in now to give a little bit of like grit and hold, so I'm just putting it in before I uh, curl it. Kind of help it hold and give it some texture because I'm also going to do a little bit of back combing to give it a little bit of just like fullness at the back because my hair lays very fine and thin. And it's right now, after that oil treatment, my hair feels so silky. Feels incredibly silky right now, so I want to give it a little bit of as healthy as I like that to feel. I need to give it a little bit of grit so the curls will hold. So I'm just doing basic curls, nothing special. I have one of these little back combs. This is called Tweeze with Ease or Tease with Ease. Pretty sure you can get it on Amazon. And I'm just going to go at the base a little bit. Usually I would do this to give it some uh, grip for my extensions, but my hair is, you know, like it's long, so I don't need the extensions right now. So I'm just doing it at the base, just to give it fullness. As if I did have the extensions, but I don't. But I wanna give it that fullness underneath. So I'm just making a, a base layer of full hair. Now, Pack Rat Detectives, it, it takes place now in, of days, but like everything's vintage. Like everything's kind of period, like 70s kind of thing. So everything, even though it's now, like it's, it's you know, modern age, everything is reminiscent of vintage. So I'm gonna be doing Deb's hair a little bit more, kind of. There's always like a 70s vibe to it, you know, just kind of full hair, backwards, Farrah faucet type, reminiscent curls, kind of this way. Okay, so now the hairspray I'm using, it is the strong flexi hold hairspray. What I like about this hairspray, if you see this cool nozzle, so if you want a lighter mist, you go this way. If you want a heavier um, spray, then you go this way. So you, it's a flexible um, spray. There's two options, this one or that one. So I really love it. And then you close it. I love it so it doesn't, if you're traveling and taking it with you, it doesn't spray, it's closed, and you can pick light, or heavy, and I'm going for the light today because I just want a light hold. I don't need a crazy, because I'm doing a lot of layers, so I don't want like a crazy strong hold. And this does not make your hair sticky at all. It smells good for one, and it's not sticky, not toxic. Cruelty-free, vegan, which is so cool. So no stickiness, you can keep building on it, it's buildable. I've worked in the hair industry for a long time. I've had I've worked in salons and spas, and I've used a lot of hairsprays. And this hairspray is my absolute favorite of all the hairsprays that I've ever used. I won't use any other hairspray. Every other hairspray is super sticky. So I love, love, love this hairspray. Now I'm gonna go do the top layer. So I'm gonna go more for the middle part. Just more 70s vibe going in the middle. I part my hair normally over there, but Deb is gonna go more in the middle. Look at the shine, for one. Like super shiny, 
not um, sticky at all. You saw how much I've sprayed it. I'm using the light mist option and it like, look at the curls. I didn't even need to straighten it. Normally I would need to straighten my hair before I um, curl it, but the oil treatment that it gave it so much shine. So I just need to kind of show you that. Okay, so I haven't styled my curls yet, but I'm gonna let them sit for a bit while I put on my makeup. Ready, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna fluff my curls out and use this dry texturizing spray. This smells incredible, just so you know. This smells so, so, so good. And I'm just gonna kind of section it off and give it a little bit more grit and a little bit more volume. So you can see how it gives it a little bit more oomph. So I'm just gonna separate the curls with that and spray it in. Gives it that finishing poof poof to give it more body. All right, now I'm ready. See you up there. Thanks for watching. Bye.